Hi, my name is Jennifer Jeffries. I'm the president and CEO of Cocorid Resource. My name is Len Champion. I'm the uh, chairman of the board of directors of Coco Reef Resorts. Well, first of all, tell us a little bit about Coco Reef Resorts. So Coco Reef Resorts uh, was created uh, over 20 years ago. Visionary uh, idea of John Jeffries uh, with uh, locations in Bermuda and in Tobago. And you know, they're two distinct locations, but offering uh, guests a, an oasis to relax, wind. If it's a business meeting, it could be laid back and, and bonding. Um, we're located on white sand beaches, and in case of Bermuda, sometimes pink, and uh, azure colored waters. So uh, we're excited to, to be at the show here and uh, looking for uh, reconnect with, with old, old friends and, and make some new ones and move the business forward. How important is being here at Caribbean Travel Marketplace? Extremely important uh, since uh, my husband, since the beginning, used to be uh, president of the Caribbean Hotel Associations as well. So for him to participate in this type of event, it was very important so we can do so a lot of networking and attract uh, more tour operators, a lot of business to the properties. And um, what sort of trends are, are you seeing in the market? How are, how are kind of travellers' kind of behaviours changing? What are they looking for now that, that's different to what they were before? Well, there's a tremendous difference in, in the fact that the, comp the competition is, is, is much faster. And, you know, we have to be at the top of our game. Uh, we have uh, properties that have got a history, award-winning properties. And uh, we're in, we're in the... Uh, Change, change mode. We're going through some uh, remodeling in, in Bermuda and some light remodeling in, in Tobago. Moving forward, we're looking at uh, different new, new different segments. Uh, we want to we want to develop more the dive business, the multi generational. There's, we're seeing that trend hmm. of multi generation. You've got the the aging uh, grandparents, baby boomers that can afford to take their children and their grandchildren. Something that you wouldn't see in the past, no? And so we want to capitalize the different segments. Um, you know, it is a seasonal business, and, and surprising, the season is different in, in one hotel than the other. And, and so we're looking at uh, uh, targeting different parts of the world, trying to, trying to develop uh, those low, low periods to make them, uh, you know, less, less of a, an impact and, and move forward with that. Yeah, it's really interesting, isn't it? So I'm hearing a lot about sort of many properties and destinations in the Caribbean shifting to becoming all year round destinations. Uh, and, and also, I think, building out a kind of content calendar and event calendar to kind of support that. Um, what else are you seeing from a new markets perspective? Well, you know, the, the, um, the younger generations, they're looking at experience now. So it's not so much about the the hotel as uh, the be all and the end all. What we need to do is we embrace our our local uh, you know stakeholders. Whether it be that great little restaurant down the street that we know that the guests are not going to eat every day in, in the hotel, and we want to we want to get them out. We want them to get them to experience the uh, you know the the local culture. And I think that is that is something that there there is a large demand for. When, on one hand, we see, you know, the cruise, li cruise lines are looking to take the perfect, the perfect island and, and protect you, what you get exposed to, right? On the other hand, we, I think, our responsibility as as a uh, as a resort is to embrace the culture, you know, obviously be able to point out where where the, the you know the highs and the lows are in, in the area, and, and, and safety being a, a key key aspect. But yeah, that's, that's something we want to be a, a, a responsible member of the community. It's not just about developing our business. If, if the community doesn't develop, then we, we you know we all suffer. No? So. Absolutely, that's how you build a, a, a genuine, sustainable, long-term business, which you've obviously done over many, many years. Rising tide lifts all ships. Absolutely. Yes. What else are you doing in sustainability to ensure that sort of uh, you you have a, a long-term future? Well, you know, the, the sustainability in in, uh, in the human aspect is, you know, the, the training. The training, and we're seeing, it, it, obviously, the change in, 
in what um, the average uh, associate is expecting to get out of their, their workplace. No? And, and for, for many of us, it's been kind of difficult because, you know, in, in, in the old days, we would, we would go and do the, do the work required, you know, and, and it was all about, you know, the job came first. And now we have to be, we have to be uh, you know, flexible in the sense to understand what our, our associates are, are looking for as far as not just a, uh, a career path, but career lifestyle. And that, that's, that's the way to, to have a sustainable, um, you know, Staffing. Yeah. Absolutely. Talents at the very heart of alongside community of, of, of building sustainable business. Then in, in everything with energy and, and you know from from whether it's uh, water usage is, is a is a, a big challenge in some of the islands that we're yeah. operating on. And so we're we're looking at new ways to uh, to conserve and to, to reutilize uh, and and electricity. You know whether it's uh, through uh, solar panels or or, uh, or wind, we're open to different ideas, and that's that's something we're looking at. Yeah. And finally, what's your message to somebody watching this uh, this interview now about about Coca Reef? What would you what would you say to them? This is Jeffries. We welcome we we'll welcome all our our uh, regular guests to come back, which we have a lot. It's always surprising. Uh, Many, many guests from the UK and Europe that are coming back year after year and uh, invite, uh, invite the, the, the younger generations to come and discover what their, their elders have known for many years. Thank you both for your time today. Thank you. Thank you.